I use this oversold $10 online gaming stock to start a wheel strategy. And now I'm looking to win big profits. Get my trade alert notifications and watch my live trading sessions inside of my Simple Trading Room community. Come on over to discord.simpleoptiontrading.com. I'll see you over there. Whenever I initiate a wheel strategy, I kick it off by either selling a cash secure put or selling a covered call. For me, making this decision was easy because an opportunity popped up which lent itself to selling a cash secure put. And this stock is called Rest Street Interactive, stock symbol RSI. Now, if you're not familiar with RSI, so they provide real money online casino, online and retail sports wagering, and social gaming services. The company was founded in 2012, and it's headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. Now, this company, as you can see here, has a market cap of $671 million. So it's, it's a small company. But it's got an average trading volume of 1.2 million shares, which I like, right? So it's got some liquidity behind it. And here's what popped up on my, my, my computer this morning as I was monitoring stocks. And I noticed, here's a daily chart going back one year, that this stock is in an oversold condition. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You can see that uh, yesterday the stock finished out red. That closed at $10.74. It's currently trading at $11 per share, um, and today's candlestick is green, so it's it's in it signaling that it might turn around here. So we might have seen uh, the low yesterday, and it might be um, rotating back upwards now. No, no guarantees here, but that's kind of what it looks like. And I see uh, it's approaching support or right at the support line. Uh, so this might be, like I said, an opportunity for me to take advantage of it. Let's take a look and see what the industry analysts think of RSI. So there's four industry analysts. Right now, they give this stock a moderate buy recommendation. And they give it a one-year average price target of $20 per share, which gives it an upside potential of 81.9%. So I like that in case uh, if I sell a cash to put using these options, and that option gets exercised and I get assigned the shares, well, I'll be holding on to those shares knowing that uh, the industry analysts believe that in a year, those shares will be worth $20. Now, there's no guarantee, obviously, <laughs> right? Uh, but let me show you something here. There's a couple of stocks that I was looking at. Uh, let me bring up another screen here. Uh, but there was a couple of stocks that I was looking at as possible opportunities, and this one popped up as an unusual uh, one for me because of something I noticed. And let me share with you what I saw. Uh, let me get to it here. Yeah, so I saw a couple of stocks that showed up as, as um, extremely oversold. One of them was ALHC. You can see here that uh, this stock came up as a great opportunity for the cash secure put. Uh, it's in the green here. Next one was uh, Orient Rent. This one showed up as, as a green as well. And then, of course, RSI. And, and tell me if you notice um, any difference between any of these three, right? They're all, they're all showing up as, as cash secure put opportunities. But the biggest thing I noticed is right here in the middle. If you look at income, RSI has $86.3 million. Let's take a look at the first two. There's rent. They have negative income right now, so they're not profitable. And then the first one, ALHC, that one showed up as a minus 178 million. So they're not profitable, profitable either. Doesn't mean they're not good opportunities for a cash secure put, but they're not as strong as RSI. So this this company is, uh, I feel, extremely oversold. Now that I've shared with you a little bit about the stock that I'm considering, let's take a look at the opportunity. Uh, but right now, they're hitting a low point as far as their stock price goes. So let's take a look at the option chain and see what the opportunity might actually be. So let's go to RSI, Street Interactive, and 
take a look at the option chain. So right now it's trading right around $11 per share. And just FYI, when this first popped up on my screen, it was trading uh, under $11. So uh, in the few minutes that I've posted the notification, uh, this stock is, has jumped up and it's already up 2.5% today. So let's take a look at the option chain. So I'm selling a cash secure put about a month out. Let's take a look at one month out. So February 18th, uh, $10. Yep, $10 at work. $10 strike price is currently paying 45 cents per share. After reviewing the option chain, I picked an option that I think has a lot of potential. But let's analyze it just to make sure. Now let's plug these numbers into my picking stocks for options analyzer. It's the one tool I use every day for analyzing my options for both cash secure puts and covered calls. So we'll go RSI, February 18th with a $10 strike price. It's currently paying 45 cents per share. Right now it's right around $11. Uh, with a February 18th strike price, that's 30 days out. So that's exactly one month. So that's four weeks. And with a $10 strike price, I'll need to reserve $1,000 as my collateral. And that's in case the options, uh, in case the option chain or the <laughs> option contract gets exercised and I get assigned those shares. And so that cash will be there uh, for me to pay for those shares. And I'll end up paying that per share. That's a supposed to draw the current price, uh, which is, and that dollar represents. 0.93% savings. So that's, that's a big deal already, right? So I get a discount off the current share price. And I sell this cash put option contract. If it gets filled, I'll see premium credit of $45. And that'll show up as uh, credit immediately into my trading account. And that $45, that's a 4.5% return based off my $1,000 that I reserved as my collateral. Now, you know that I like to receive 1% uh, per week for each week that the option contract is open. So in this case, because the length of the option contract is 30 days or four weeks, um, one of my criteria would be to try to get 4% or greater as the, as the uh, premium in amount. And, and in this case, it'd be 4.5%. So I get that green indicator telling me that it meets my minimum criteria. So I'll probably do a little bit more due diligence on this opportunity, but I wanted to share with everyone the opportunity that I'm seeing as a potential option play. I showed you the stock that I found. We walked through the chart to look at where the stock price is sitting at. I got some buy-in from the analyst. They seem to like it as well. And then I identified the option by looking at the option chain and finding a good candidate. Everything looks great. It's time for me to get started kicking off this wheel strategy by selling a cash secure put. Here's the actual transaction record from my account history where I sold a cash secure put for stock symbol RSI with a $10 strike price and an expiration date of February 18th, 2022. You can see I submitted this order on January 19th of 2022 and it was filled near the close of the market at 12.28 p.m. Pacific time. Now at the time I sold this cash secure put, it was paying 70 cents per share. And when this option contract got filled, I received $70 as the premium payment, which showed us as a credit deposited immediately into my trading account. So I was able to successfully kick off and initiate this wheel strategy using stock symbol RSI, which is a low cost $10 online gaming stock. Now I'm gonna monitor the stock price and watch how this option trade progresses. Now let's fast forward to January 27th and take a quick look at where the stock is sitting at. As you can see from this daily chart, the stock price has dropped significantly to $8.75 per share, which is well below my strike price of $10. If the stock continues at this level, not only will I be assigned the shares on the expiration date, but I'll end up paying $10 per share, which is $1.25 higher than the current market price. Now, even though I like the stock and wouldn't mind owning it, but overpaying for it by $1.25 per share just isn't appealing to me. So as an option trader, I'm going to reach into my bag of tricks and I'm deciding that I'm going to roll this option. Watch for the next video I release on my channel where I show how I'm going to roll this option. You can get immediate access to my trade alert notifications by joining my Simple Trading Room community. Be sure to use the special link that I've included in the description below so you can join in on the action. There's one last thing before I end this video. 
Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.